improvise from it related with this uh, meeting people and play with people and with no no score or not very clear scores and ideas of score but normally I play uh, with some kind of music or with some type of kind of music inside improvisation so normally I have to clear a little bit what type of improvisation I'm, I'm working with and sometimes it's more specific sometimes it's more open but improvisation for me it's uh, an idea of uh, getting involved with others and sharing with others as much as I can I, I, I play guitar in the beginning and bass when I was a kid blah, blah, blah. then I get this saxophone it's a, it's a quite, I can, I can tell you the story um, my uncle, um, I was in my uncle's house and I, I see a black box uh, down, down the room and I ask him, what's this? Ah, it's uh, your uncle's saxophone but my uncle was also always uh, on the boat traveling around like a fisherman spent uh, a lot of months uh, out and to get his saxophone in Canada and my, uh, my uncle said, ah, it's a saxophone, it's from my uncle ah, okay, saxophone uh, can I take it? Can I take it? Yes, go ahead, take it. And that was my starting with saxophone. From that, <laughs> I always keep it. And then I start this philharmonic, but it's not so interesting. It's philharmonic, and I go to this hot group uh, jazz. So then I start to, to, to learn saxophone, how to blow, how to make the scales, how to get the, the sound of the instrument. And uh, then I play, starting to play with Ricardo, and uh, this more uh, uh, plastic uh, stuff, and more uh, not not quite in, in in the type of improvisation that we play today, but with more some experience of uh, some scores and improvisation improvisation around the scores. More these uh, you have some points, then you can catch it, and then you spread around. And uh, after that, I, 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 I get this uh, idea of out pitch. I was quite boring about the pitch. And, and I, I, like in, the, in the end, I feel it like I'm quite tired of this. I, I don't feel so good on this. So I have this um, problem with the pitch. And then I start to, to try to find other sounds around the instrument. Then he comes Ernest, who invited me to these big bands, and to these uh, big ensembles, and quite quite a bit close that time. He also invited me to play with him, with more small, uh, and show me a lot of records of creative sources, and so on. So I get this, okay, meet other musicians, listening to other musicians, other sounds. So when I started, I, I didn't imagine but it was happening today, for sure. I, I, yes, I guess, I guess there are some reasons. So it's not like um, um, a game that you take a, a, a number. And, okay, now it's my time to, to play. I think it's quite... People who are in front of a project and wants to invite people to play with them, more or less improvise or whatever, I think they, have to, they, they choose and, I, and when I think in other people that I can choose to play also, I, I, I look to the person. So uh, in this idea of we're going to play together, so I need to be confident with that person. I need to have a good environment for work and so on. And also the specific way that they play, type of techniques, what the fields that they move. If I want something that's more clear, near to my perspective or it's more far away from my perspective that's why uh, I think people and I in particular choose people to play or even sometimes I was invited for some projects when I guess I, I didn't understand so in the beginning why <laughs> uh, but the, the, the option was okay this is quite a particular way of playing and I want something different from the others to make this mix and to explore different environments and not be too focused on one idea in, in particular. 
because sometimes it was m uh, more related with this rhythmic stuff or more um, cadences and more uh, near to jazz more or less and I was a little bit afraid of this too much pitch too much pitch I was not playing so much pitch at that time but then when, when we pull together the, the group uh, I understand that it works quite well because uh, I get a little bit more pitch inside me the others take a little bit pitch um, about the future um, so looking to the present I see that there are a lot of different approach in improvisation in Lisbon. There are these relations, still relations, with the different in, in, between different generations, the old generations and the young generations. They're still working a lot and um, they are quite connected. So young people asking to work with the uh, older generation and the older generation asking to work with the new generation. And I guess there are, there are some, some persons, all generations, who also try to get these young people around and have this work of uh, putting people together and working together. You have a lot of uh, more and more uh, records, spaces around Lisbon, uh, formal and informal groups, organized and not so organized groups. So we, I think you have a, a quite good field to, to grow. And also, uh, in the last years, Portugal is attracting also people who are or living here, some, or uh, people who are traveling around and getting the map of this improvisation around Europe, more, mostly Porto and, and, and Lisbon, of course. Because the, Cities, no? and all all these these points, I guess, it's 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 uh, it's quite it's quite amazing. And also, uh, people from my generation, for example, who went out for study, they are also getting back and traveling around. So we have this field that I guess it's, it's not going to die. It's going to be continued. Probably some, some, something that is going to get not so interesting, but for sure other things is going to be interesting. So the experimental stuff, the experimental field, I think it's still rolling.